Item number SCP-4516. Index. Don't fuck with hyper-religious cats. Object class Euclid. Special containment procedures. All entrances to SCP-4516 have been shielded with thaumaturgic warding. Personnel are to maintain these wards indefinitely. Under no circumstances are personnel to enter SCP-4516 unless the majority of the O5 Council are in agreement. All objects and entities extracted from SCP-4516 are to be kept in containment indefinitely. Research of Class II anomalous objects or lower is permitted with the written permission of the Site Director. Anomalous objects above Class II require written permission from the Regional Director. Non-sapient biological entities are to be sterilized and maintained until their death, after which the body is to be incinerated after study. Sapients are to be neutralized in terrestrial law and relocated to various anomalous enclaves should they have no criminal record, are not infected with a contagious illness, and are not connected to Soxis nations monetarily, militarily, or religiously. Description SCP-4516 is a series of four gateways to an unknown location believed to be somewhere within the Milky Way galaxy. These gateways are located in Iraq, SCP-4516-1, North Korea, SCP-4516-2, the Bahamas, SCP-4516-3, and the United Kingdom, SCP-4516-4. Note, a gateway differs from portal in that a gateway can be closed temporarily whereas a portal can only be closed permanently. Upon entering an instance of SCP-4516, the individual will experience symptoms typical of long-distance gateway travel, including nausea, dizziness, ringing in the ears, bleeding from gums, etc. The exit point is always the same regardless of instance entered. This appears to be a large forest filled with trees of an unknown species. Travel through the gateway from the other side takes the individual to the original gateway from which they entered. Native entities are sent to a random destination unless they are in physical contact with one another. The exit point has been designated SCP-4516-A. SCP-4516-B is the interior of a Dyson sphere indicated by the binary stars in the middle of the sky and the curved nature of the world, allowing one to view the perceived top of the sphere from the bottom. A gravitational anomaly pervades the entire structure, making objects behave as they would on Earth, negating the centrifugal forces. It is estimated that the Dyson Sphere has a roughly 16 light minute, 287,800,000 thousand kilometer diameter. The atmospheric composition of SCP-4516-A is similar to Earth, albeit with slightly higher levels of neon and lower levels of argon than baseline. It should also be noted that SCP-4516-A is anomalously stable, showing no signs of orbital decay or seasons related to the area's distance from the Sun. SCP-4516-B possesses a noticeably elevated thaumatological inclination than Earth, making spells and naturally occurring anomalous abilities much stronger in SCP-4516-B than on baseline Earth. The reverse is also true as organisms and spells native to SCP-4516-B have less thaumatological prowess on Earth than they do in SCP-4516-B. SCP-4516-B possesses an extremely extensive and varied biosphere, with an estimated 1.3 times 10 to the 26 indigenous species, although the accuracy of this estimate is presently uncertain. An estimated 87% of all species display some sort of thaumatological ability ranging from teleportation to chronological displacement. The remaining 13% of life forms that do not display thaumatological abilities are highly specialized life forms that are limited to specific environments, typically the deep ocean or highly isolated islands. To date, the architects of SCP-4516-B are unknown. Numerous sapient species and a handful of deities have been discovered. Although it is believed these are naturally evolved on SCP-4516-B, and not the builders of the structure. Note, deity is here defined as any pistophagic entity above class 5 on the Bashir scale.
Discovery. SCP-4516 was discovered after a group of large humanoid mammalian beings appeared spontaneously in the Bahamas on November 30th, 1945. These entities measured seven meters in height, with dark green skin, a single eye, and were armed with crossbows and swords. These entities were intercepted by the Global Occult Coalition and destroyed before the Foundation was aware of the incident. The event was classified as an anomalous incident until an identical event occurred on June 9, 1948 in North Korea. Foundation assets were alerted in time and containment established with a single Foundation fatality. Upon interrogation, SCP-4516-B was discovered. In addition to SCP-4516-1, SCP-4516-3, and SCP-4516-4, based on Foundation records of similar incidents. The entities, collectively classified as SCP-4516-1, were each individually interrogated, and revealed to be colonists from Torak, a city-state within SCP-4516, and were attempting to escape persecution for their religious beliefs. Contact with the entity's government was established, and exploration of SCP-4516 began. The humanoids were naturalized in terrestrial law and relocated to various anomalous enclaves, including three portlands. The species numbers in 60,000, according to 2017 census. Incident 4516-1 After years of negotiation with the Commonwealth of Torak, the state was overtaken by the nearby nation of Forathia due to a combination of border disputes, religious disagreements, and catalyzed by an assassination attempt on the Torakian queen's favorite concubine. The nation of Forathia was much more hostile towards the Foundation than the original Torakian government. This is best shown through the infiltration of the Foundation by a Forathian agent who is responsible for a containment breach on Site 16, resulting in the death of 892 Foundation personnel and 36 civilians. Following this, the Foundation was temporarily cut off from SCP-4516-1, isolating personnel on the interior from Earth. After three months of no contact, the gateways were reopened. Foundation assets previously trapped within SCP-4516-1 had apparently worked with Forethian rebels and overthrown their rule, re-establishing the nation of Torak. The nation of Forethia was destroyed in the conflict. Personnel involved were given the Foundation Gold Star for Valor. Exploration of SCP-4516-1 continues. Incident 4516-2 Through exploration of SCP-4516-B, a city-state under the name of Mintarius is encountered. Measuring 18 kilometers wide, Mintarius is inhabited by a species of cat-like quadrupeds measuring 2 meters at the shoulder. This species is telekinetic and are able to use a very limited form of thaumaturgy. Upon contact, the inhabitants of the city-state had an abrupt socio-religious shift. Foundation personnel apparently resembled the inhabitants' version of angels, and thus believed the Foundation to be holy beings. This quickly degraded, however, once the inhabitants realized that Foundation personnel have red blood when their angels bleed purple when injured. This led to a brief civil war before a massive assault against Foundation forces, the inhabitants believing them to be demons, and the apocalypse upon them. 65% of personnel did not survive. The remaining 35% were forced to retreat into Torak. A siege ensued, which negatively affected the relationship between the Foundation and Torak. Incident 4516-3 Torak, after 19 months of siege, is finally overrun after a tunnel constructed by the Mintarians opens up near the center of the city-state. A mass slaughter ensues, resulting in nearly 100% casualties among Foundation and Torakian forces. The gateway is sealed immediately. To date, there have been 17 incursions from the other side of SCP-4516, each of which has been successfully repelled. Incident 4516-4 after three years of inactivity from the exit point, a Foundation strike force was authorized to enter in order to assess the current situation in SCP-4516-B. It was quickly ascertained that the forest previously surrounding the exit point had been converted into a new nation, called the Mammothian Empire. 
this nation is very technologically, socially, and pharmacologically advanced. The conflict between the Mindarians and Tokians was determined, according to historical records, to have spilled out into the surrounding area and civilizations, enveloping the entire region into a brutal series of wars and unstable alliances, along with religious, species, and ethnic purges. This culminated in a single war between three different alliances, the Garanok Union, the Soxis, and Morinian Confederacy. The Garanok Union was a collection of highly authoritarian, theocratic states. The Soxis was a collection of very secular and collectivist nations, and the Morinian Confederacy was an ideologically diverse group of nations which would be too weak otherwise to defend themselves. Rapidly advancing technology and thermatology which was aided by technology and other materials left behind by Foundation personnel in the years prior, ultimately allowed a joint Garanok and Morinian force to destroy the Soxis alliance. This, however, has led to a military standoff between the theocratic states and the increasingly libertarian Morinian states, with terrorist attacks perpetrated by Soxist-backed groups against Morinian nations becoming increasingly common, as is immigration from these nations.